Hi everybody, this is Chez from Retro Nirvana Gaming, and today we're doing a video on the Silent Hill Collection, a very awesome survival horror franchise on the PlayStation, and now it is also on some other consoles as well, like the Xbox and the Wii. So I'm going to take you through my collection in just a sec. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. You'll see more of our videos and you'll help the channel grow. All right, let's take a look. Okay, so we're going to start off with Silent Hill 3. This is actually the most expensive game in the Silent Hill collection that I own. This one is complete in box. And as the making, as at the time of making this video, this game goes for $200 now. Wow. Has this gone up in price? Wow. I know I didn't pay even close to that when I first bought this. But this is now a highly collectible game and very happy I have it in the collection. This is a really, really good one from Konami. So uh, if you ever see this at a flea market or anything else like that and the person doesn't know what they're talking about in terms of their price, uh, grab this game. It's a great survival horror game and is now selling for up to $200. Fantastic. Okay, now we're going to talk about another game, the original Silent Hill. This is the only Silent Hill game I've actually beaten uh, out of all of them is the original PlayStation 1 version. I actually got this a long time ago on a like a, a game selling website um, and the guy only wanted $30 for this. So now this game is worth about $188 complete in box. This is actually the black label version. It is in really nice shape, and as I said before, I beat this one, this this version, um, several years now, maybe five years ago at this point. Uh, and it, the graphics have not really kept up very well. Uh, if you play it now, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, those graphics are awful. Even back then, they weren't really that great. Uh, they used the fog in Silent Hill to mask the loading and the and the graphics and stuff like that. Uh, so they could only show you a certain amount of the level, and they intentionally put the fog into the game to make it a little bit easier to load the game. Uh, because this was kind of like a 3D, uh, a 3D survival horror game, kind of like Resident Evil. Resident Evil was more like linear. This one was a little more open world at the time. So, yeah, this is a really good one. It's going for about $188 now. And so if you ever see this one, pick it up. It is very valuable at this point. Okay, Silent Hill 2, got to have this one in the collection as well. They are doing a remake of this one, which is coming out very soon. This one goes for now $147 complete in box. Now, this one is not in the greatest shape. When I bought it, there's some scuffing on the top, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. Um, I think there's a little scuff here as well in the middle, but I'm not picky when it comes to that. I'm very happy to have bought this when I did, because now it is um, almost a $150 game. And again, these prices do fluctuate. Uh, when, around Halloween, obviously, and in October, generally these sp prices spike and they go up, 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 up. And then as you get towards the other part of the year, these uh, prices start to normalize again. And so... Yeah, those ones are the by far the most expensive ones I have in the collection. There are other games in the Silent Hill franchise that are also very expensive, but those are the three most expensive I have. Okay, so next is one on the Wii. So this one is Shattered Memories, and it's going for $79 complete in box. Now, that is a lot for a Wii game. Quite a lot. So this copy is complete. Um, I do not put it in the protective case yet. I will probably get a protective case for it at some point. Uh, this one was IGN Best of E3 winner in 2009 and E3 2009 Editor's Choice winner as well. Uh, this one plays kind of different than the other ones. Obviously you have the nunchuck and the Wiimote, but I remember playing this and it's actually really fun. It's it's a great game. And so I'd say if you like survival horror on the Wii, pick this one up. I know it is pricey, but it's definitely worth it for the collection. Okay, so next one is Restless Dreams on the Xbox. So this is Silent Hill 2. Restless Dreams. This is another one that is complete in box. Disc is in nice shape, and this one goes for about $61 now, which is quite a bit for an original Xbox game. Wow. Definitely very collectible on the Xbox. 
Definitely one of the best titles you can get. All right, so now uh, kind of a newer entry in the series, which is Silent Hill 4, The Room. This one I only have for the Xbox. I picked this up a long time ago now. I am looking for a affordable version of, of Silent Hill 4, The Room on the PS2. But that game has now gone up quite a bit. So it's very expensive. I am looking to add that to the collection. Um, I remember playing this once or twice. Um, it is complete. As I said before, it's going for about $58. And I want to go back and play this one because this one, it, um, from what I remember, was very, very good. So, yes. Um, really cool one to pick up that one. So now we have something a little bit different. And this is Origins on the PSP. And this one is going for $49 now, complete in box. So definitely a different title. Complete, UMD, manual, the case looks pretty nice. So yeah, this one is getting pricey, especially for a PSP game. Um, this one is kind of like one of the only ones you can get on the PSP. I think, I think there might be another one, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, so now the HD collections. So these ones on the 360, this one is $29 now. And this one does contain Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. Um, and it is an HD collection, as I said before. So better graphics, and you can play them all on one disc. So it says, get two of the most terrifying games ever re remastered, HD Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. And so, yeah, this is another one I picked up. It's quite affordable to play on the Xbox 360 or the PS3. You don't have to shell out like 200 bucks a piece or 150 bucks a piece for each game. So this is a great way to be able to play Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. Even if you want to just pick them up before the, the remake comes out and just, you know, kind of play through them again um, around Halloween. So that one goes for $29. The PS3 version goes for about $21. So I picked this up at a game convention recently. And it has Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 in there. Same thing. Great way to play it. This one is in very nice shape. And yes. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite Silent Hill game. I would say my favorite one is probably the first or the second one. Uh, but I need to play more of my Silent Hill games. For some reason I just don't play through them a lot I, or I get stuck. Um, a lot of these survival horrors from back in the day, you get to a, a brick wall, you get to a certain point in the game, and that, and it's it's frustrating, or you have to backtrack, kind of like in Resident Evil, and try to figure out where you need to go next. So it does take a lot of patience and a lot of um, determination to get through these games. I know with the first one, I really had to push myself to get through it and finish it. And I was really happy I did when I did finish it. I was like, wow, what a great game, and... Um, will I go back and play it again? Uh, maybe not for a while. I might go back and play some of them this year a little bit again, uh, and revisit like two and three and possibly one again, but I would like to branch out and try other horror games as well. All right. So next is Silent Hill Homecoming. So this one needs a good cleaning, but this is one I picked up at a pawn shop in Florida a long time ago now. Um, and it is in... Pretty great shape, other than the, the case. So cosmetic on the case, I can clean the, the case, just the sticker residue. And the disc and the manual, so it is nice and complete overall. I don't remember this one too well. I need to go back and kind of revisit this one. But from what I remember, it's good. It's, it's the same sort of formula as the other ones, and it's, it's fun. And then we have, same thing, the PS3 version. So this one also comes complete. Much thicker manual on the PS3 for whatever reason, and the disc is in good shape. I just need to clean the, the case up a little bit, and it'll look real, real nice. So this one's going for about $18. The 360 version is going for about $19. So yes, that is my Silent Hill collection so far. Um, it, it was a lot cheaper to collect these games back in the day, uh, even 5, 10 years ago. These games are probably around 50 bucks for the expensive ones, like the ones that are now uh, close to $200. They were about 50, 40 to 50 bucks each. So I remember picking them up um, and thinking, you know, it, they were expensive but worth it back then. So now, obviously, it's out of a lot of collectors' reach, but there are other ways to play them through emulation or through 
uh, these these collections such as the uh, that one with two and three in there. So yeah, leave me a comment. What is your favorite Silent Hill game or your favorite um, survival horror game? Is it Resident Evil? Which one do you like better, Resident Evil or Silent Hill? Or maybe you like Fatal Frame? Let me know in the comments. All right, that'll be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the next video. If you can, it helps the channel grow. And uh, take it easy. Thanks so much. Bye.